Hey guys, Chris Neville with Go Hunt, and today I wanted to run over the brand new for 2021 First Light Foundry Corgit Pants. So as many of you know, I've worn First Light for quite a while now, and the Corgit Pants previous years have been some of my favorite pants, they're pretty much my do-it-all pant for mule deer hunting, elk hunting, into even some of the late season depending on what I'm wearing. And I was fortunate enough this year in Arizona to try out some of their prototype pants, which is the foundry pant that they just came out with. And I'm super impressed with all the new features that First Light put into these new pants. It is a huge upgrade from their other line of pants that they have with these new foundry pants. So I just kind of want to do a quick overview of some of the new features with these Corgit foundry pants and what you can expect if you do look to purchase these. So first and foremost, the thing that jumped off to me right away, I tend to run hot most of my hunts. So what I really liked to this new feature was the side zips that they added to these pants. So now you can dump heat when you're hiking, stay cool, don't have to worry about sweating too much. So that's a really nice feature. And then with these pants, these foundry pants, they have now added in knee pads. And not only are the knee pads, they have a reinforced knee pad section with a waterproof nylon. So you'll notice with these foundry pants that this fabric right here is gonna be a little bit thicker and a little bit more durable than the rest of the corget pants, which the rest of this pant is your normal corget fabric. So that's gonna be 90% nylon, 10% spandex, just like the old corget pants. But now it's gonna have the reinforced knees along with the reinforced seat. So for those wear and tear areas, for sitting down when you're on your knees, you're gonna have some fabric, like I said, is reconstructed with that waterproof nylon to just have a little more durability for when you're out in the field and you have the added knee pads. And one thing with the knee pads, uh, you kind of don't realize that you like knee pads until you actually try them out. I've never used knee pads before, but when you're hunting, you're on your knees all the time, whether that's digging through your pack, you know, on the ground, at camp, glassing. Hunters are on their knees a lot and those knee pads are just an added benefit just for being more comfortable throughout the hunt. So I just wanted to show you quick how these knee pads go inside these pants. It's fairly simple, you just turn them inside out. And you can see there's a nice pocket and it's a mesh so it does vent pretty nice because the knee pads might get a little sweatier in that area. And it's a simple, just pull them out. And they do recommend when you wash these pants, don't wash with the knee pads in them because these knee pads will get messed up if you wash them or dry them. So when you do, make sure to take out knee pads before you wash them. But yeah, it's just a simple mesh pocket on the inside that you just slide the knee pads in. And like I said, it's one of those features you probably don't think about and you're like, oh, I don't need knee pads. You think you're pretty tough. It's just one of those things that I notice that everything's a little bit more comfortable. Anytime you can have that out in the field, especially on a backcountry hunt, uh, it's just easier to be able to handle the terrain, anything that you come across, just having stuff that gives you a little bit more comfort in a lot of uncomfortable situations. Also, the pocket configuration on these has changed from the other corget pants with the foundry. So now you're gonna have your pockets in the front instead of on the side. And it actually has two pockets. So you have one that's open that I usually like carry my phone. And then you'll have one on top of that, which is a zip for more secure stuff, which when I'm archery hunting, I threw my release in that pocket, so it's easy access. And then along with those, you still have your standard pockets right there in the front, which you can put anything in. And then the back, you still have your pockets with zips. So most, of, compared to the Corgit pants before, like I said, I used to, I, those were my go-to pants. You can wear them any time of year. I wore them deer hunting early season to elk hunting in September to warmer days in November. And now with these and the added benefits with the side zips, now you can dump heat, the knee pads, reconstructed knees, and then along with the reconstructed seat, these pants are a huge upgrade from the old corrugate. Also, one thing to mention with these corrugate foundry pants, these are DWR treated, so it is gonna resist moisture a little bit better which is always nice. You never know what weather conditions you're gonna come across out in the mountain. These Corgit Founder pants are in the Fusion. They also have Cypher, Gray, Dry Earth, and Conifer. So they have all the colorways. The gray pants I've seen look pretty cool. That'd be my next go-to. I'm more of a solid guy, as most of you know, but these were prototypes and this is kind of all they had at that time. So I'm just gonna throw these on, just kind of show you a size reference. I'm 180 pounds, six foot tall. 
just to show you the fit of these pants real quick. I'm six foot, 180 pounds, 32 waist. And these are the size 32 for the Corgit Foundry pants. As you can see, they fit pretty good, not too baggy. Like I mentioned, the front pocket configuration is different from the other pants, the Corgit Guide pants. And it's something I've come to like a lot from using these pants so far. Has a phone, easy access. And over the top of that one, you have the more secure pocket with the zipper to put in stuff that's more valuable that you don't want to lose. Knee pads, I usually leave them in the whole time. They don't bother me that much. I know some people might think they get a little bit sweaty, but they don't actually get too sweaty with the side, the side zips. So yeah, this is just a fit. Not too bad, huh? So these Corgit Foundry pants come in at 28 ounces, which is a little bit heavier than the Corgit Guide pants, but that's to be expected with the added knee pads and the reinforced knees and seat. I think the Corgit Guide pants were 17 ounces. So about 11 ounces heavier with these new Foundry Corgit pants, but not too bad when you add the added benefits with the reinforced knees, knee pads, and reinforced seat. I think those 11 ounces are well spent with these new Foundry pants.